Aloha Yellow 6 students. Today we are going to continue with Springboard 2.2 Forces of Change. You had an opportunity to watch up and you got to go ahead and um, take notes on the different clips. Now you are going to be writing an explanatory response. Okay, an explanatory response. So please refer to your assignments. We're going to be doing slide 10 and 11. On slide 10 for 2.2, let me just go over it with you. Explanatory writing is a type of writing that explains, defines, clarifies, or gives information about a topic. An explanatory response or paragraph must include, first bullet, a topic sentence that states the main idea, and that's going to be highlighted green. Second bullet, a transition sentence including a detail, that's yellow. Third, examples from the text or film, that's red. And fourth, Commentary about how internal or external forces causes characters to change, and that would be purple. Now, commentary is a writer's statements about the meaning and importance of the examples. So the following that I'm going to be sharing with you is an example of an explanatory response that explains how Carl Fredrickson's life changes from two external forces in the film up. Okay, so we're focusing on the external forces on this example. Okay, and remember, topic is green. Transition sentence is yellow, examples are red, commentary is purple. Okay, so here is the sample of the explanatory response based on the external. Carl Fredrickson experiencing, experiences external forces in the film Up. As a result, his life changes many ways. First, Ellie is one of the external forces of change in his life. She makes Carl a member of her club and doesn't really give him any choice about it. She also pushes him to walk the plank to get his balloon, which is how he breaks his arm. Although this seems like a bad idea, she really making his life more of an adventure. Another external force of change in Carl Fredrickson's life is the construction being done in his neighborhood. The developer decides to tear down all the homes and buildings where Carl lives and replace them with high-rise condominiums. He is being asked to live in a care home for seniors. It would seem sensible for Carl to move into a care home, but he is too sentimental to move out of a home that he and Ellie fixed up and lived in. Okay, so if you look back again, this is the topic sentence in green. Okay, then the yellow is the first transitional sentence talking about the first um transition and what what they're going to show as an example of reflecting for the topic now the red is the examples based on this first transition okay the example showing how ellie is one of the external forces of change now this purple again is your commentary regarding this transition and example then the next yellow is showing another transition. Okay, so another external force. And then this next red is showing the example for that second transition sentence. And the purple is showing the commentary of this second transition and example. Okay. So what you're going to do next is you are going to 
work on creating an explanatory response of Carl Fredrickson's life changes from two internal forces now. Internal forces, okay? So not external, but internal. So you're going to do a topic sentence that states the main idea. You're going to do a transition sentence introducing a detail, okay, or a fact. Then you're going to give examples from the text in red that explains that first transition. Then give me a commentary <clears throat> about how that internal force caused the characters to change, okay? So it's going to be similar to the example I went over with you. You give me the topic, first transition, introducing the detail, then the examples for explaining that transition, then the commentary, okay? Then give me the next transition, introducing another detail of that external, another example, focus on that, and then another commentary, all right? So do your best, you know, and be able to provide as much details in your writing. Don't assume that we know what you're thinking. Put it down and organize it in the way that needs to be organized, okay? Good luck. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to see your language arts teacher during office hours. Okay, bye.